what's up YouTube I'm back with another video man with DIY with the Richardson man first man I just gotta give honor to God man for just allowing me man to see another beautiful day man to do what I like to do and that's work on cars all right man come on with me today is the first day of the C10 bill all right so what we're gonna do man we are going to get ready to take the cab off the truck we're gonna try to take the bed off the truck and we're gonna try to go in depth man let you see exactly what it takes to take the cab off of C10 the bed off of C10 and once we get the cab in the bed off the C10 we're gonna get into like the frame work we're gonna try we're gonna redo the frame man get all the rest out the frame paint it um, go through the lines and stuff man y'all just roll with me man just 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 roll with me and we, like I said man we're gonna try to do this thing together man and uh Y'all just stay tuned. All right, YouTube. So here we go. All right, so we're in the bed. We're in the back of the short bed. Trying to clean it out. Get all this trash up out of here. But as you see, in order to take this bed off, you got carriage bolts. Here, here, there, there. And right up in here, once I get to clean this off. We're going to get up under there, hopefully. <coughs> Hopefully it ain't rusted up on that too bad. I take these lights off. Anybody want them on these lights? Give me in the comment. Cause I'm not gonna be up on here. So we gotta take them lights off. Take the wire harness loose. Get all that that mess right there loose. Whatever that is. And um, uh, we'll start taking it off. Anyway. This is the new tool that I got right here from Toolmark. It's a bed and the cab remove. And what it does, this part right here, this bracket here, it hooks on to the lift. Alright, see, so just a regular basic engine lift. It hooks on right here. So, we're gonna see what it do, man. Because, um, you know, I ain't never did this before. But that's what that's the whole reason for the channel, man, so we can learn how to do it together. So man, y'all stay tuned, man. Come with me. Now we're gonna take this take the headlight off here. You gotta use a torque bit. Take this off. You know why try to do this in one hand. I don't know what I'm doing this in one hand, but we get it. I need me somebody to record for me. That'd be nice. But we're gonna get it. We're gonna get this done. Alright, so the old folks screws loosen the whole housing up. Of course you got the wire harness and yo those that know about these old ones, all you do is twist. thing come on. all right you two so we got we got those the uh, back tail lights out on both sides as you can see now we gotta do tuck a wires inside because we're gonna have to get up under the cab and uh pretty much pull all the wire harness from up under the cab you basically just reach up under there you gotta get that hook off right there yeah I see that Got a hook right there. We'll get that hook all pried off. And then um pull that wire harness. Let's see here. Let's see we get that off. And simple as that. Simple as that. Alright. Same on this side. Alright, we got that off. So now, 
what we're gonna do, we're gonna get up on the truck, pull the wire harness loose, and um, once we pull the wire harness loose, we're gonna um, we'll take you up under there, and let you see them carriage bolts. Hopefully, them things ain't too dusty or too rusty, and uh, we're gonna go from there. All right, you two. So we got we got the harness loose. This is your main harness connector that goes to your rear tail lights. It's a little light up in here. So there go. There's one carriage boat right there. So you got one right there. Right there. I'm gonna get those out. And that is what size that is. So you're gonna need a 19. I got a 19. Get up in there, and then we're gonna loosen these up. Loosen all these up, all the way through. And we get through with it. Let y'all know that 12 bolt rear end. Looks like we're gonna have to go through that. Looks like it's leaking a little bit. It looks, it looks shiny, but uh, we're gonna have to go through that too. So it's gonna be a bill. It's gonna be a little while, but y'all just hold tight and we're gonna see what to do. I'll get back with you once I get through getting these boats loose and I'll show you. We're gonna go from there. Say hey, June. Hey. All right, so we got we got uh, all eight of our carriage boats out. You can see, day was not easy. I don't know what GM was thinking about about this one. All right, so we got those out. Next thing we're gonna do is we gotta unhook the on the gas tank. We gotta get that out. We gotta get the flap out, the neck, which that's pretty simple. On this truck here, we got dual tanks. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna go back with dual tanks. And it would have locks on it. Wow. Wow. All right, YouTube. That's just another problem. Hey, ain't no problem we can't solve. All right. Check back with me, man. I'm going to get this loose. Yeah, I'm going to check back with you. Then we're going to try, gonna try to go ahead and get this bed off. All right. Goodbye. All right, YouTube, we're back. All right, so we got this tool. I was telling y'all about this company called Tool Mark. And, uh, man, I ain't never used this thing for. Take no bed off. It's usually just a couple dudes, a couple friends. But uh, I'm by myself. So and you might be by yourself. So we're going to see how this tool do. We already got, um, as you can see, we already got... Got everything loose. Got all the got all the boats out, all the lag, lag bolts. Um, out and everything. Got the wire harness loose right there. So we are gonna go ahead and try to do this. All right, now y'all getting you getting the raw footage now. The raw footage, no editing. Take this, take this tile over here. Well, see, ain't it all easy? What y'all see on on all the car shows? It ain't that easy, especially when you DIY with the rich. <laughs> okay. One eternity later. Whoo, man, I'm back. easy. Alright, so let me show you. Alright, so 
with this bed tool, the problem I was having was my boom on my engine hoist wasn't long enough. So if you don't have a long boom, you don't have to either do what I did right here, where I had to take the towel, that way to lift and get up in there. But we're gonna try to do this. Lock down. Let's see what to do. See if this really works for money. So you, you got your um, filler neck down there. So like the filler neck over there, you got to make sure all this loose. Or you, uh, you mess around and have to buy you a new filler neck. So I'll show you, show you what I'm dealing with. That, that filler neck loose. I already had it unbuckled. I just did. Let me show you something. Come on. Evidently, as if they don't have enough grounds on this truck, we got a ground on the filling neck. We're going to cut that strap. Wow. Subscribe and hit that notification bell.